Hey, I'm Bassmaster Pro Jimmy Mason, and I want to talk to you today about one of the hottest techniques out there. You, you've been hearing a lot about the Alabama rig lately. Uh, it's a really neat deal. I've been throwing it since uh, probably about since June of this year, which is four or five months before it kind of came out nationally and got real well known. I've had a lot of it's been a lot of experimenting and a lot of fun trying to figure this out, and it, it's turned into an awesome fish catcher. Um, this one right here I've got rigged with yum mud minnows. These are actually um, almost like sassy shads. They're fairly small. I use this a lot when the bait is small and I want to you know, kind of match the hatch on the size. I rig this usually with an eighth ounce to a quarter ounce uh, swim bait heads. Most of the time I'm using a, uh, a Buckeye Lures J wheel head. Sometimes I'll use one a little bit smaller, but I always want to throw these with a, a, a really stout hook. Most of the time you're throwing this on 65 pound to 80 pound vicious braid. So you want to have a stronger hook, not your typical shaky head style jig. Even though these are eight to quarter ounce, you must have a, a strong hook in it because when you sit back with that you know, heavy braid, you know, a, a weaker hook is going to flex and you're going to lose a lot of fish. So that's one of the most important parts of the rig is to make sure you've got a heavy hook. The other baits that I throw, um, a lot of the, are the young money minnows, either the three and a half or the five inch. What I have found in using this is that when I'm fishing real deep, you know, deep water, deep structure, the, the hollow, bed, hollow belly baits work a little better. The five inch money minnow, when I'm fishing deep structure, the ledges on Pickwick, um, the ledges on Gunnersville, I'm going to use this bigger bait. But when I'm fishing the grass, for whatever reason, it's real weird, I seem to get more bites on the solid plastic, like this mud minnow. Um, I don't know if it's just in my head, but I've seen it happen more and more and time and time again. So it's something I have a lot of confidence in doing is changing up. But it's, like I said, this is the Alabama rig. Play with it. It's, it's something that it's going to be really exciting over the next year, seeing uh, all the different baits and the ways people adapt to fishing this. Uh, and this is definitely a bait that you can use your imagination and keep an open mind when you're throwing and, and put different, a lot of different baits on it. Equipment wise, when I'm throwing this, you want to use a long rod. My, the two rods I use, depending upon how heavy of, of jig heads I'm using, is either a 764 Dobbins fl uh, light flipping stick or a 795 Dobbins swim bait rod. If I'm, if I'm using over a quarter ounce heads on this, then I'm going to go with the swim bait rod. That'll handle up to a four ounce swim bait. Uh, and it's going to work you all day throwing this. By the time you get it all loaded up with you know, those heads, you're talking about a three and a half to four and a half ounce bait, this whole rig. So you definitely need that longer rod with kind of some give in the midsection where you can lob it out there uh, and just fish it slow some, and play with the retrieve. One thing I found is some days they want it where you reel it real fast and kill it off the bottom, let it fall back to the bottom and reel it real fast and kill it again. Other days they want just a slow, steady retrieve, almost like you're slow rolling a big spinner bait. Uh, it's one of those deals, you know, if you're not getting the bites you expect, kind of vary the retrieve and experiment and, and you'll find one that they do want that day. Good luck with it.